a most unlikely family that I have here at KFI. I mean, I feel like I could be family to Alex and Tyler and Wayne. That would make sense. But who, whoever says Bill Handel is in their family? Whoever says, I know, I know, but I still love that guy. I know. Did I see a shrink? KFI AM 640 live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. The man who perplexes me is up in a couple of minutes. Handle on the news will start then. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee, and some of the stories we're watching in the KFI 24 hour newsroom. Moderna says its booster shot appears to provide protection against the Omicron variant. Police in Pasadena and Beverly Hills are investigating anti Semitic flyers that were put out in cities over the weekend. And hundreds of gallons of gas have spilled into the Alhambra wash, and people who live in the San Marino area are being told to stay indoors because of the food. All right, let's get into your biz bites this morning. And if you have YouTube TV, there's good news for you this morning because as of last night, if you were watching some of the headlines, it said that if you had any ESPN or Disney channels that you were not going to be able to get it. Well, turns out oh. that blackout on YouTube TV of Disney is over. The two would say that they have agreed to a new agreement and uh, that Disney said Sunday afternoon, we appreciate Google's collaboration. And therefore, you're not going to have to worry about the blackout again. And they say they're happy to share that Disney now will give its content to YouTube. And it will be $64.99 a month to get Disney, FX, ESPN, all of that on YouTube TV if you're a subscriber to that. All right. A Christmas staple might be hard to find. Candy canes. Freaking candy canes are short in a shortage right now. And it's a couple of things. So first off, you know that we have had COVID logistical issues for the supply chain. That's a given. So they can't get what candy canes there are from point A to point B. On top of that, there is a peppermint crop shortage. They had a weak peppermint crop. Peppermint production in the U.S. declined nearly 40% over the past decade, according to the USDA. <laughs> what? How does that happen? And then, where's the eggnog? If you've been looking for the eggnog, well, with Christmas just a few days away, a lot of stores have no eggnog on the shelves. There's a specific company, Organic Valley, that you've probably seen. That's, that's one of the major, major suppliers of eggnog. And the Wisconsin company says it works with 1,800 farmers to supply the dairy products. So think about the cream, the milk, the butter, all of that that goes into it. But the retailers are saying we couldn't get the supply that we usually get, so we don't have the eggnog to supply all these stores. Now, let's see. Uh, Kroger grocery stores and Walmart say that their locations are not experiencing a shortage. And a Target spokesperson says the retailer is well positioned to meet guest needs, but there are a lot of grocery store chains that are saying, no, we don't have Eggnog, also, it's the cream cheese smear that we talked about for things. Even granite headstones are being impacted because of supply and demand chain because of COVID-19. So there you go. If you can't find your candy cane, your eggnog, or you can't pre-order your granite headstone, it's because of COVID and its impact on the supply chain. This is KFI and KOSC HD2 Los Angeles. Jeff Boggan, morning to you. It's actually good oh, to me. I Sorry, I just saw that. No, you're good. You're totally chill. Jeff will be joining us here sooner than later, but right now checking out the drive in the San Gabriel Valley through Pasadena, westbound side of the 210 at Lake. It's a crash of the carpool and three left lanes shut down. That's going to be a fatality crash investigation that does continue for your drive. You can rush over and come away from Allen. Uh, plan ahead for the 10 West, uh, even though that will be busy for you getting out of Covina through Baldwin Park from Azusa Avenue uh, as you make your way toward her, uh, looks like, well, into the El Monte area beyond the uh, 605. Definitely going to save you a bit of time compared to what's going down for your drive in Pasadena. What actually might even be a better option for you is Colorado Boulevard that does parallel the uh, 210 getting through the uh, Pasadena area. We'll save a bit of time this morning. Got an update on this or anything else slowing you down? Pound 250 on your cell phone. Keyword KFI traffic. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Nick Pagliotini. <laughs> Hey, it's 
Mike Neal survey drug. You know, new windows for your home bring light, beauty, of course, efficiency. I know this firsthand because the French doors and stunning kitchen windows from American Vision Windows brought some of the most dramatic and beautiful changes to our home. Now, we all know Bill and Kathleen's story. Horrible experience when they replaced their own windows. They started their own company. So fast forward 20 years, they're still bringing warmth, light, and beauty to homes like mine. Now, for a limited time, American Vision Windows will pay the tax plus zero payment until 2023. Tax based on materials only on purchase of eight or more windows cannot be combined with any other offers on approved credit and some restrictions apply. PSLB number 778-326. I recommend them to friends and family and to you. Trust the window companies that I trust. My family trusts. American Vision Windows. Give them a call. Get that free estimate today. 888-226-9908. That's 888-226-9908. Or for all those specials, visit AmericanVisionWindows.com. Concerned about COVID? COVID Clinic can help. With multiple locations throughout SoCal, COVID Clinic offers testing for schools, businesses, or travel with no cost to pay for testing. Results are usually available within an hour. And if you test positive, COVID Clinic can help you find treatment. Even if you're vaccinated, you could still contract COVID, especially during the holiday season. Find your nearest location at COVIDClinic.org. That's COVIDClinic.org. COVIDClinic.org. SoCal weather from KFI. We've got a sunny day ahead with highs in the low to mid 60s. More clouds will start to come in tomorrow, and our next chance at rain comes in Wednesday. We leave local live from the KFI 24 hour newsroom. I'm Jennifer Jones. Lee. This has been your wake up call. And along the news starts now. And now, here's Bill Handel. Everybody, here on a, another cold Monday morning, 37 degrees. Jennifer, when does this end? Uh, February, March. -ish. <laughs> oh, no, 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 not like this. No, it's uh, actually not really anytime soon, to be perfectly honest. Uh, just, uh, do we, is this normal that we get this kind of weather during the winter for extended periods of time? Uh, I don't think so. Please, my memory. I would have to ask the like National Weather Service or something yeah. like that, but yeah. but I remember it being cold. Yeah. I don't know if it was this cold, but you're right for this long. Thank but. goodness, because I, I was going to have to say, yeah, great. I love your opinion. Okay, good morning. Hi, uh, Wayne. Good morning. Yeah, it's never been this cold for I'm this long. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I don't remember. No, I'm saying this, I don't remember this long of a cold snap. winter since this cold snap. Yeah. yeah. And uh, there's uh, Alex is back. Yay. Morning, Alex. Morning. Yay. Excellent. Uh, and uh, Tyler is back, even though he hasn't been gone. Howdy, Bill. Howdy. Howdy. He picked that up from Morgan. Uh, yeah, I guess. Uh, hey, you know, I've become, I'm becoming a tech maven. What? Uh, I'm telling you, uh, I am using FaceTime more and more. Mm -hmm. And you notice, it's, um, I, am, I have to get one of those little phone holders. Uh, like a stand? Yeah, a little stand, so I'm not holding the phone because I can't use my hands. Are you Italian? Yes. <laughs> I have to wave my hands. That's what we do. I know, I have to scream at people, and it's hard to do that with uh, out one of those. So I'm very excited about moving fast ahead. FaceTime, I'm doing, I, I'm on Spotify now. Who are you? I don't know. I don't know. You know what I have noticed with you, and I would say the last... I don't know, six weeks or so, you haven't butt dialed me in about six weeks, which I think is a record. Uh, yeah, it could be. Yeah. So I'm butt dialing everybody else. Oh, you know, oh that, take I'm it off the list. Take it personally. <laughs> All right, you guys ready to do it? Let's do it. Let's do it. Handle on the news. Jennifer Jones Lee, Wayne Resnick, and me, Lee Story. And uh, LAX ramping up for holiday travel. It's people seem to not being a pay paying much attention to Omicron. And it was uh, kind of bizarre. And I went to uh, the football game last Thursday, as you know, at SoFi. Had to show vaccination uh, or the test. 
Now that within 72 hours, now the test is going to be in LA County, 24 hours, uh, and or a PCR test two days. And it's, uh, I gotta tell you, it's crazy. So you're gonna see just tons of people, not to the extent that it was in uh, 2019, but last year is uh, 1.8 million, and uh, this year uh, it's going to be three and a half million. We're talking about uh, between December 17th and January. Uh, so. I gotta tell you, I would, uh, you know, at some point, if this thing really explodes, like it's starting to, uh, you're gonna see, uh, you're not walking into any place without proof of vaccination. It's all there is to it. Show up at the airport and you can't prove vaccination or the testing. You can walk to Chicago. <laughs> that does not seem like No. In the snow. Barefoot. Yeah, uphill. Uphill. <laughs> All right, you mentioned this. We've got so much stuff being canceled because of a spike in Omicron cases. I know the USC Oklahoma game that was supposed to happen tomorrow, that one has already been canceled. UCLA's men's game against North Carolina that was planned for Saturday in Vegas, that one was canceled already. Rams and Seahawks, uh, Anaheim Ducks, uh, performances of A Christmas Carol at the Amundsen Theater, all of those. So I know a lot of the big stories are Broadway's closed and Saturday oh, Night crazy. Live had no audience, blah, blah, blah. It's the same thing's happening here on the West Coast. Well, in the world of football, have, have you ever experienced games Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? I mean, that's pretty impressive. I started thinking, too, about all the bowl games that are coming up and what can happen to all of those. And what sucks is for a lot of those seniors who are playing in those bowl games, that's their last game. That's it. So if those get canceled... Oh, uh, it's horrible. I mean, how many students miss graduation, for example? Yeah, last year. Graduating? Yeah. And uh, how many students uh, miss football games? And I'm talking about students that uh, were looking at scholarships. Yeah, exactly. And uh, they couldn't be looked at by coaches. It was a mess. Yeah. And guess what? Probably the message are coming, at least according to Dr. Fauci. Uh, that, and, and if you look at the stats, uh, Omicron is flying through the world right now. I mean, every two, three days, it's doubling the number of people who are testing. But most all of them, the only good thing is, is they're having um, mild Milder symptoms. symptoms. Yeah. What it but yes, you, if you're going to get COVID, uh, you might as well go into the Omicron line. Uh, maybe a longer line. But it's probably better. It's weird. I had that conversation with Scott over the weekend, and I said those exact words. If I got or if I got COVID, I hope it would be Omicron. Is that weird that now yeah. we're like, see what strain would I get? It's bizarre. Yeah. Uh, well, you touched upon this. Uh, I'll just add the quote from Dr. Anthony Fauci that Omicron is quote just raging around the world. And. Uh, who has uh, sent the uh, a pre uh, um, press releases? Elizabeth Warren and Cory Booker both tested positive for Omicron. Jason Crow also this morning we found right. out he also another Democrat. Uh, he tested positive. Right, it's uh, flying around now. The good news I have not heard or we have not heard any news reports of someone who has pumped from Omicron. Uh, Omicron who is in the hospital or has died. That we have Not heard. in the U.S. Yeah. It, it has happened overseas, but it's yeah. a handful. Right. It's just a handful. And uh, Elizabeth Warren, as a matter of fact, uh, furthering her press release, said this would never have happened in a communist country. Stop it. Why don't we take a break? Wow. Right, good idea. Who's more a commie, her or Bernie Sanders? You know, it, it, it's neck and neck. Okay. It really is. Uh, it, she probably has it by a hair because he has none. Will oh, he? Wow! Wow! wow. Hey, we're back! La pot people who live in gla with glass skulls should yeah. throw wigs or something. <laughs> That's a good line. I like I'm it. trying to say you're bald too. Well, I like. Well, I liked it better the other way. All right, uh, Jennifer. Oh goodness! Uh, the richest person on earth.
says he'll pay more taxes than any American in history this year. I don't know if it's a badge of honor, but Tesla and SpaceX CEO Elon Musk tweeted yesterday his 2021 tax bill will total more than $11 billion. The brick panels in the metal wall Texas is building on the border went up Saturday in the Rio Grande. The contractor in charge of the project had been building former President Trump's border wall until it was canceled by the Biden administration. And Broadway, as I talked about, is not immune to COVID. In fact, it's forced several shows to temporarily pause production. A third of Broadway's 32 shows have canceled performances because of COVID. We've got your drive on the 605 with DKFI in the sky now. Why not give your loved ones a healthy air holiday? This Christmas, show your appreciation by helping them enjoy the healthy benefits of clean air. IQ air purifiers capture up to 99% of airborne particulates using patented industry-leading hyper-HEPA filtration technology. IQ air's high-efficiency air purifiers filter smoke, pollen, dust, mold, bacteria, and viruses as small as 0.003 microns, the smallest airborne particles that exist. IQ air delivers immediate clean air directly to your breathing zone with a portable, award-winning Autumn Series 5-in-1 system. For the desk, the car, on the go, setup is easy anywhere there's a flat surface. For the whole home, IQ Air offers the ultra-quiet Hexco Plus Series, the number one air purification choice for asthma and allergy sufferers. Your friends and your family will love the confidence that comes from taking back control over their environment and from breathing clean, filtered air. Go to iqair.com for US or call 877-778-7324. iqair.com slash US or or 877-778-7324. Did you know the Auto Club offers competitive rates on auto insurance? Go to AAA.com slash insurance for a free quote today and find out how much you can save. Insurance through the Auto Club. Visit AAA.com slash insurance today. So got weather from KFI. We've got a mostly sunny day ahead. Highs in the 60s. This report is brought to you by the Auto Club of Southern California. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, we make it easy. We're checking out the 605. As you make way through the Pico Rivera area, actually got to come in and go into the Pico Rivera and Whittier area, along with 605 North and Southbound at the Loft and uh, Washington Boulevard, kind of in between the two. It's the carpool and two left lanes in both directions that are off limits. So you are seeing a mess for the drive on the southbound side of the 605 from as far back as Valley Boulevard, almost as far back as the 10. And the northbound side of the 605 is a mess for your drive leaving Firestone. Plan ahead for Rosemead Boulevard as the surface street alternate between the 5 and the 60 looks good for you pretty much in both directions. You will see a much heavier drive than usual for this hour on the 5 northbound, leaving the 605 as folks are planning toward the, are uh, heading toward the 710 rather. And it looks like you do have problems for the northbound on the 5 around Indiana or Dinman. Uh, looks like that's a crash in the right lane, so that's why it's especially heavy for you. Also affecting the drive 710 north and southbound, some rust with delays for you both directions between Atlantic Benzini and the 10. KFI in the Sky helps get to there faster. I'm Nick Colliotti. This report is sponsored by Anthem Blue Cross. Anthem Blue Cross and Heart of America are helping schools across the country increase their access to healthy food. Learn more at anthem.com slash CA slash BART. Anthem Blue Cross is the saving of Blue Cross of California. San Manuel Casino is changing its name and changing the game. San Manuel Casino is now Yamaha Resort and Casino at San Manuel. With two new casino floors, now with over 6,500 plus, the most in the West. A new Highland room for five elevated gaming experiences, new luxury retail shops, restaurants and bars, and even more thrills to come. Experience the level of thrill that California has never seen before. San Manuel Casino is now Yamaha Resort and Casino. As parents, we've done everything we can to keep our kids safe, happy, and healthy during this pandemic. From finding the best face mask to making sure their hands are clean. And now we have the best tool to help keep them even safer. The most important thing we can do is vaccinate our kids to protect them against COVID-19. Vaccines have been proven safe and effective for children five and up. Talk to your child's doctor or visit myturn.ca.gov to find a vaccine near you. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. If you own a business and manage to keep five or more people on the payroll through the pandemic, there's a new government program that will pay you tens of thousands of dollars per employee. And this is not a loan. This is a grant. The challenge is getting your hand for money. This is a bureaucracy. InnovationRefunds.com. Cut through the red tape. Help you get the cash. They do all of the legwork. They don't charge a penny until you receive the money. And what they do is simply share a percentage of the money they get from you. 
They got my business a six-figure refund. Now, their average client gets a quarter of a million dollars. That's impressive. Go to innovationrefunds.com, click on the Qualify Me button, answer a few questions, innovationrefunds.com, it's no risk, and it certainly is high reward. Innovationrefunds.com, they help me, I'm sure they can help you. Innovationrefunds.com. Our lives are filled with choices. What's not a choice? Addiction to opioids. But even with opioid use disorder, you still have a choice. Choose treatment and choose change California. Find medically proven treatment options at choosechangepa.org. Farmers and Merchants Bank wishes you and yours a very Merry Christmas. To learn more about FM's Christmas traditions, visit fmb.com forward slash Christmas. In 2007, Marine First Lieutenant Travis Manion was killed in Iraq after saving his wounded teammates. Travis's legacy lives on through the words he spoke before his final deployment, If not me, then who? Words that today fuel the spirit of Travis Manion Foundation. And through TMF, these words can live in you too. Show the world what you're made of, because character is invisible until it's not. Find out how you can strengthen the character of your community alongside empowered veterans, families of the fallen, and inspired civilians at travismanion.org. Ready to trade in your old car? Then download the Roto app. That's R-O-D-O. -O. Roto will buy your car and give you the cash you need to buy your next car today. You don't even need to leave your house. It's all done online. Roto will even deliver your new car and take your old car away free of charge. So what are you waiting for? Download the Roto app now or check out Roto.com. That's R-O-D-O. The fastest and easiest way to sell your car. Hey, you lie. They know going the extra mile takes hard work. For companies pushing to go further, Uline will go the distance with you. 24-7, they answer the phone to get you the shipping and industrial supplies you need. Business can move fast. Unexpected large orders, adverse weather, new safety guidelines, and changing economic trends. Uline works hard keeping 38,000 items ready to ship, minimizing detours on your way to the extra mile. Visit Uline.com. We know you listen to KFI, but when it's that time of year, you can hear your favorite Christmas music right now on the official holiday music station, Coast 103.5. It's beginning like All your favorite holiday songs. Coast 103.5, your home for the holiday. Coast 103.5. KFI AM 640, more stimulating talk. And uh, the morning crew on a cold December the 20th. It is. Yes. Uh, you know what? Here's the problem: is um, Alex puts up uh, the uh, the date, because I always forget it from segment to segment, and uh, it's just all combined now. It just looks like a big zero. You know, I'm wearing glasses, and uh, I don't carry. I don't wear my glasses here. Oh, I'm like really rushing to change that around. Hey, what can I tell you? The food chain issue. I'm the big girl. Actually, if you look at my chest here, I am the big girl. Wow. Yeah, I, for the visual. Yeah, I once sent a picture out. I was wearing a pair of I'm doing a roof on. Such as. You know, Casey and wearing a dry hat and coveralls. And, uh, which of course show the upper part of the body. And, uh, pretty hairy. People started writing in and commenting. One, and one said, gee, do you want to take off your sweater? <laughs> People were looking for crop circles. <laughs> You're hairy. In the yeah, unfortunately. A lot of testosterone, they say. And I don't understand it because I don't. Oh, okay. Let's move on. Well, after a uh, week, of being coy, West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin came right out and said that he will not vote for the Build Back Better plan, yeah. leaving the administration scrambling to oh, figure out what to do because well, they it, cannot pass it without yeah. him. Yep, and it's, uh, well, I'm going to do more about that at 7 o'clock. I'm going to give you the timeline, what he said, what he's being accused of, what he accused the administration of, and how uh, Republicans are just sit, sitting back and just enjoying the show. Because they're all voting against it. 
Yes. I mean, everyone. Well, every, I mean, without him, it's dead. Right. And it's how do 50, you... 50, 50 time in the Senate. How do you please him? How does the Biden administration give Manchin the concessions it would take? Only to and kind not of... You can't. The he progressives are. drunk with this weird kind of political power that he has by virtue of uh, insisting on remaining a Democrat. I don't know if he... Uh, I, I'm guessing, while I'm going to talk more about this, uh, that as the Biden administration, to get him to vote for it, starts cutting again... Uh, the program. They, remember, they went from 3.5 trillion to 1.75. I mean, they've cut it in half. I think he wants them to keep on cutting, cutting, cutting. He said that he's worried about the effect on the budget deficit if the child tax credit is extended um, like permanently. Right. But that's not in the bill. No, but so he, can't he just get a promise from Biden that if he votes for this bill, that Biden will not sign or agree to any legislation to extend it beyond what's in the bill while yeah. he's still president? Oh, yeah. And, and then, still, he, then he can still, vote for it. And he still has and the And then power. he can move on with our lives. So as long as the Republicans are 50-50 in the Senate, with uh, Kamala Harris, uh, of course, the tiebreaker, uh, he has the power every year uh, to say, nope. I'm not voting for anything. I'm not voting for any part of the Build Back, uh, build back Better bill. And if I do now, you're screwed. I mean, he has the ability to just say, you're screwed if uh, you cross me. Well, and Wayne's phrase, this, you know, drunk with power, at what point will one of the progressive senators, the Warrens, the Sanders, then finally say, nope, you've given too much to Manchin. You have, like, now we won't vote for that bill until you include this in it. When, when are we going to see that copycat theory just on the other side of the progressive party? I That's think it's definitely. going to be, I think uh, he has, uh, I think he has the ammunition. He's holding the card. And uh, Joe, uh, I mean, you end Bernie up in the same place, I guess, which is yeah. nothing, nothing gets done. Right. right, right. All right, you had hundreds of gallons of gas spilled into the Alhambra wash. It happened after a car crashed into a gas station pump. And the gas got into the wash, and it flowed towards San Marino. And hazard crews are trying to pick it up, but people who live in the area are being told to keep their doors and windows closed. There are people who are saying we got to go to hotels out of the area because I think one of the quotes that I heard from a guy was it was like putting your head in a like a yeah. can of gas. And this is San Marino, by the way, where people have lots and lots of money. Yeah. And when people have lots and lots of money, the authorities. Jump. Well, here we go again. Somebody distributed anti-Semitic flyers in Pasadena and Beverly Hills overnight Saturday into Sunday morning. The flyers begin with the claim that, quote, every single aspect of the COVID agenda is Jewish. Now, why is uh, that not legal to uh, send flyers out? I mean, obviously throwing them on uh, someone's lawn is probably some form of trespassing, or it's considered uh, commercial speech. People have the right to put flyers on doorways, and uh, that has been held by the courts. You know, unless no trespassing, you can't go in. Uh, so I don't know why this wouldn't be politically protected speech. But isn't it hate speech? Well, yeah, we're allowed to We're allowed to commit hate speech in this country. I would say all day long, long that uh, the Jews are the Totally responsible for COVID. Now I could have really been proud of it. I'm not going to keep that in mind. But it's hey, it's legal. So they're going to charge him with what? Trespassing, throwing stones, and then a hate crime? Well, I noticed that Beverly Hills PD is being very opaque about whether they, they think there's a crime here or whether it's just something unpleasant. Yeah. They said they're thoroughly investigating, right? and they will provide additional patrols to ensure a safe holiday season. But they said throughout the city. So this is a very generic statement, right? and not really addressing this issue. Right? But you know, you're, unfortunately, you're allowed, uh, it's much like uh, COVID misinformation, uh, you're allowed to do that. Can you trespass by throwing something? onto somebody's lawn and you don't step on their property? I don't know. And also, do you not have a First Amendment you right do. to distribute your flyer? You do. Could that be some sort of vandalism of some sort? I know. Well, there's a the vandalism. You're not destroying any property or yeah. damaging property. I mean, you can scramble for uh, laws that are violated. I don't think so. Unless they pass a law saying that this 
You can't do it correct. Reverse right. that. Right. Uh, but you could, uh, theoretically, you could argue uh, anti-Semitic, anti-black, uh, anti-minority statements uh, and, and are illegal, but then you, uh, where do you draw the line? Well, that's the problem. You can't, you can't just say that it's not content neutral and you get into all these things. So, in other words, I think this is the thing that, the only thing that would happen is I guess if you found out who they were, you could publicly shame them by saying they are the people who are doing it. But then they may wear it as a badge of honor. Well, if they're wearing it as a badge of honor, maybe they just put their name on the bottom of the flyer. Well, no, I understand, but I'm saying if they got caught, they might not be shamed. Right. Yeah. yeah, let's uh, let's take a break. Come back. This is KFIAM 640, and let's check into uh, Jennifer Jones. What is it? Well, the Grand Park New Year's Eve countdown in downtown LA has been canceled because of COVID-19 concerns. The celebration was supposed to have an audience, but now it will be a broadcast-only event. News is brought to you by Ruger Hero. It's the end of an era. The last Kmart in California has closed its doors for good. The retail giant had nearly 2,500 stores at one point and a history 122 years in the making. The first Kmart branded store opened right here in the San Fernando Valley back in January of 1962. This shopper tells CBS Sacramento that Kmart's end was a slow one. It was going downhill slowly but surely as far as stocking things. But poor Kmart finished done over with. Several years of financial issues, including two bankruptcies in the last 20 years and poor management, has led to Kmart's downfall, causing that blue light special to go dim forever. Andrew Caravella, KFI News. And Target is set to take over the Grass Valley location in 2022 as it continues to buy up or take over leases at former Kmart locations. About 14 Kmarts are left standing. Most are in New York. Speaking of New York, Mayor de Blasio has asked the Biden administration for more COVID-19 vaccine doses and testing t supplies to deal with the recent surge of cases. It is an urgent situation and we need to act urgently. We are seeing a very substantial rise in the number of cases in a way we haven't seen previously. De Blasio says the massive increase in COVID cases could overwhelm the city's hospitals, which are already short-staffed. He says the city is expecting the COVID surge to continue for the next several weeks. Disney and Google have reached a deal to return Disney-owned content to YouTube TV. ABC, ESPN, Freeform, and other Disney channels were taken off the platform Friday as an agreement could not be reached. But after, finally, an agreement was reached yesterday afternoon, YouTube TV, which has more than 3 million subscribers, is one of the nation's largest live TV streaming services. <laughs> President Obama has released his favorite songs of 2021. There were 27 songs that made Obama's annual list. Some of his picks for this year include Montero by Lil Nas X, Broken Horses by Brandy Carlisle, and Freedom by John Batiste. Okay, you're driving on the 210. Thanks for making this new Major problems do continue for you. Once found that at Lake, there's a crash of the car phone. Three left lanes shut down. That's why you're seeing a massive slowdown first thing this morning as you come away from Sierra Madre Villa or Madre. And you're also seeing a rough ride for you in East LA. On the 710 south at about Olympic or Whittier Boulevard, just a crash that has the right lane shut down. Captain Type 3 coming away from the 60. 605 still in major trouble spot for you. North and south on in the Whittier and Cooper Rivera area. 605 north and south right around Washington and Floss and the answer crash that has the car and three left lanes are northbound shut down. Carpool and two left lanes are southbound and off limits, and it's a mess for your drive in both directions. Both of these boulevard shuttle tree rides will definitely help save you some time this morning. Okay, I find this guy helps get there faster. I like Paul Rocky. The Lakers lost to the Chicago Bulls 115-110. to They had to play without Anthony Davis. He's going to be out for at least four weeks with a knee injury and without head coach Frank Vogel, who is on the football protocol list. The Clippers get the San Antonio Spurs at 7.30, live on AM 570 LA Sports. And in hockey, the LA Kings came from behind to beat the Washington Capitals, thanks to Adrian Kempe in the third period. Here's Kempe, moving in, Kempe to the net, he scores! Adrian Kempe gives the Kings the lead! 3-2 in Washington! That's the final score as well. I'm Wayne Resnick, KFI Sports. Pacific Coast uh, turbite, uh, say a lot of people when it's warmer, uh, see these flying bugs. 
and uh, they do that all year long. As soon as it warms up, termites come out. Because termites just live here. They love it here in Southern California. The weather, the fact your food, uh, your, their food, their lunch is made out of the wood in your house. And so uh, call the folks at Pacific Coast Termite, even if you don't know or think you have termites. They'll give you a free home inspection, certain restrictions apply, and give you two bits of news. One, you don't have termites, yay, next year. And uh, if you do, it's early days, and they can treat it right there. Now, if you already have termites, you see the bugs flying around and little wood shavings on your dashboard, that becomes a very easy phone call to make. Pacific Coast Termite, and the magic there, they don't tent while they do their work. And I've tented before. Trust me, you do not want to go there, double-bagging your food, pet sitting, etc. Pacific Coast Termite. Call 800-PACIFIC, 800-PACIFIC, PacificCoastTermite.com, 800-PACIFIC. Pacific Coast Termite, kill termite. The clean, friendly way. SoCal weather from KFI. Partly cloudy today with highs in the 60s. Our chance of rain starts on Wednesday. We leave local. Live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom, I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee. Ah, girl, thank you. You're a lifesaver. No problem. There's always something with my car. I love a new car like yours. Actually, it's not new. It's a Toyota certified used car. Wow. Look, new. Drive great. Oh, that's because Toyota inspects from top to bottom. Gives you great warranties. And, you know, it's a Toyota. Huh. Mind dropping me off at a Toyota dealer? Good move. The best new cars make the best used cars. And now you can get 0.99 APR on any used Camry, Corolla, or any of the RAV4 family. Along with a 160-point inspection, you get a 12-month or 12,000-mile limited comprehensive warranty, seven years of roadside assistance from the date of purchase. For all warranties, be here for details. Not all customers will qualify. Limited term financing through Toyota Financial Services. Must take delivery from Toyota Certified Used Vehicle Dealer stock by midnight January 3rd. We make it easy. Toyota, let's go places. Radio advertising can connect your business with holiday shoppers wherever they go. Use our card ad builder to create an affordable custom radio ad file on your phone. Just click, listen, approve, and hear it on the radio. And create your customized ad today at iHeartAdBuilder.com. Hi, we're home. We have Dr. Robert Lewis. He's a neurosurgeon at Pickup Family Neurosciences Institute. He loves camping with his daughter. He is also a nationally recognized expert in the main base of brain tumor surgery at home. Dr. Lewis loves to get to know you and is ready to make a positive difference in your family's life. Get to know her. Visit hopehelps.org and find your physician today. Crashing through the lane. There's a one horse on this flight. Wait, if you collide with a flight or get hurt in a car accident, there's only one place to call. That's Tokyo Mom. Owen, Patterson, and Owen. Over $10 billion recovered for accident victims. LA's award winning law firm, TokyoLaw.com. For official rules and more information about contests on this station, go to KFIAM640.com slash rules. There's red, blue, and then there's you. You're a free thinker and believe the best idea should win, no matter whose idea that is. At KFI AM640, we give you all the news you need and a variety of opinions. You make up your own mind. Beholden to no one. Live, local, and independent, KFI AM640 is made for independent thinkers like you. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let us go, let us go, let us go. Man, it doesn't show signs of stopping, and I've brought me some for pop up. The light tuned in. And, uh, good morning, everybody. Bill Handel here. It's a Monday morning, December 20th, and it is cold. Uh, let's go back. Uh, more Handel on the news, Jennifer Wayne and me. All right, the Archdiocese of L.A. has sued the LAUSD over this denial of federal funds. So it was in 2018 that there was agreement, an agreement between the LAUSD and the Archdiocese about how to calculate which Catholic schools qualify. And they say that for the last four years there's been inaction by LAUSD 
to give this federal Title I service to these low-income Catholic schools. Yeah, this is not paying for schools. That's separation of church and state. This is paying for these programs for underprivileged, disabled kids that were at the school, and that's the government that is part from this, uh, that uh, according to LA Unit, according to the other sciences, every year uh, the um, school district changes its application process. You have to do it every year. And they're just saying we're done with it. Uh, according to this story, uh, the LA, uh, LAUSC block uh, uh, more than, well, they allowed 17 of the 100 previously eligible Catholic schools from exceeding because they did the application wrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they want to keep the money for other schools. Yeah, or they don't have, or they don't, they believe separation of church and state is so complete, you can't even do that. See what happens in court. I think they win. Ah, they probably have an excellent case. I think they do. Now, being a court, an accountant who was part of a massive charter school fraud, that uh, netted over $400 million that it shouldn't have, was sentenced to three years of unsupervised probation. That is $300,000. That will find that he paid half of it at sentencing. He's going to pay the other half in May. This is because he turned around and cooperated. I understand. But also, the story goes on. It says there was another defendant uh, who uh, was part of it and got a year of probation. Well, probably also cooperate. Cooperate, I, I guess. Eventually, they'll get the big wigs in this thing. But what they were doing is it's this series of charter schools. Uh, this company, A3, uh -huh. set up a network of charter schools and then started enrolling students who didn't really go there. And then, of course, claimed the money for these students. That's bad stuff. I'm just surprised it was so, uh, the punishment was uh, so little. If you cooperate, this is very important. Even with hundreds of millions yeah, of dollars? Matter. Doesn't matter. If you're in early as someone who is going to help the prosecutors get the big wigs, you will walk away with very, very low sentences. Oh. That's how it works. But you got to be one of the first ones to say, I'll help you get the big guys. You almost have to, uh, you have to go there and instigate it, right? Or, they just or the moment you're contacted. Like the first time that whoever, in this case, uh, this, is, this is a state prosecution, so it, I don't know what agency would have knocked on this guy's door, but if they go, hi, uh, we no, want to talk to you about this, and you go, oh yeah, yeah, you got me, let me help you, yes, you have to be very upfront about it, and this is how you can avoid prison with $400 million in fraud. Rapper Draco the Ruler has been stabbed and killed at the Once Upon a Time Music Festival in L.A. Hey, this is Ryan, and I'm going to take a conversation with the Black Eyed Eyes, but right after that we see the helicopter and the performance that we were really excited to never see now. Isn't that crazy? Come on, who's rapping? No! I just don't understand that. I just think that's the country where they came from, where it was a violent country, and I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, my guess is that uh, 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 uh,